Greetings everyone, ciao from Italy, this is Panthero Urban and welcome back to a new speed painting. This is a Patreon reward requested by CPAT on Patreon and um, it represents my character Isa from Azarian Stories in the act of uh, snarling and showing her teeth and being overall a really mean person, but she's not actually that mean. But anyway, I really do hope you enjoy this picture and you enjoy the process that I uh, use for this picture in particular. I tried a bit of a more realistic approach, especially on the fur. I'm not sure I actually like the way it came out. I was more enthusiastic when the picture was just finished, but by looking back at it, and there's something odd about it. It's probably a little too realistic for my taste. But anyway, I really hope you do enjoy it. Um, however, this is not why I uh, wanted to do this voiceover. I wanted to actually just have a discussion video. This is my first discussion video, especially regarding art discussions. Um, you guys are very welcome to suggest any other arguments or subjects that you would like me to discuss. Uh, but for the first uh, discussion video that I wanted to do, I wanted to focus on a subject that is very dear to me at the moment. And it's the subject of choosing art as your full-time job. Um, this is something that I'm really struggling with and um, I really want to know that I'm doing the right choice. Uh, so I want to just talk about it and probably just uh, ramble about it a little bit because I'm very confused and probably many people, many young people especially, um, who want to do this as a career, they might be very confused too. So I don't know, this sort of a stream of consciousness can probably help somebody clear their mind or probably just, um, you know, relieve some of their um, doubts or something like that. Or it's just a simple way to discuss about it because not many people do and I feel like it should be talked about more. So let's get right into it. So a few days ago I went on my Facebook and I posted this uh, sort of a question. I asked, um, would you rather do a job that you thoroughly dislike but that pays really really well or would you rather do a job that you love but with barely enough to break even. And realistically, this is a very important question and I'm sure that any young artist with, um, without actually a clue about economics or just income will immediately go for the second option. I mean, I would. And I mean, there's nothing wrong about it. But once you see it under the light of a, a quote-unquote grown-up with taxes and economical problems, would you actually make the same choice as quickly or would there be something stopping you or at least, um, you know, preventing you from being so sure about it? This is what's been happening to me right now. Um, at, the, at the moment, I have a well-paying job. I work in a pharmacy in the heart of Rome. My job is relatively easy, so to speak, except actually it isn't. I sell drugs to people, I have to be careful what I give to who. And many times we get thieves and people who are actually dangerous visiting our shops and trying to steal things. So it's very stressful for me to keep the situation under control. So it doesn't look like it, but it's actually quite the stressful thing, especially for somebody like me who's very anxious to begin with. My job pays quite well and it's a stable position it's just that I really don't like it I mean it's not what I see myself doing for the rest of my life and that is huge for me I don't want to do that even if it pays really really well and even if it you know basically assures the rest of my life it's just would you actually decline something like that for a job that you love but that has so many risks. I mean, I studied for it, I prepared myself for it. This is what I've been working on up until this point. But when I actually just went and did it, I realized I didn't like it at all. And I started realizing it 
just before graduating. Um, it was something that just came on its own, I guess. I've always been drawing while I was in university, but it was just so overwhelmingly clear by the end of it that I just wanted to draw for the rest of my life. It was so clear to me. And yet, it's something that, at least in my country, is not seen as a real job. And that's the second point I wanted to discuss. The art is most often than not, not considered a job. It's not, it's like, oh, you draw all day for a job for a living? Gee, that's, that's a nice career you got going on there. And you know, it is actually. If you if you think about it, it is. It's a really really beautiful career. There's many people who made um, a living just selling off art art they made themselves, and it's beautiful. I love it. It's a burst of creativity, and yet people don't appreciate it as much, in my opinion. And that's really really sad. So realistically, let's go over the advantages that a quote-unquote real job will bring you. I mean, first of all, a job at, a, say, uh, a large company will be safe, so to speak. It will be a guarantee. It will bring you a pay every month, and you won't have to worry about pretty much anything for an undetermined amount of time. That is huge for a person. It means that for the rest of their lives, they're gonna have a steady income every month. And if you think about it, in many countries, that is pretty much all you want from, from your life, all you want from your career. Secondly, as I said, people don't really consider art a real job. So what do they do? They look for a real job in the real world. I mean, in, I don't know, companies and places like that. And it's, I guess it's normal, uh, so to speak. But at the same time, if a person has a passion that, it go, that goes beyond just working in and out every day, I think it, that passion is worth following. And uh, it may come at a cost at the beginning, but after a while, I mean, it just, you love doing your job. You, you don't mind spending so many energies and. Uh, initially, I guess, uh, so much money to start your career. Also, while on one hand, this job is providing me with a steady income every month, it's also causing my health to decline. I can clearly feel I'm more anxious than ever before. I've never been so anxious in my, in my entire life, and I'm a very anxious person um, just by default. I'm going through a period of depression just as we speak and uh, I can totally tell that this depression is caused by my job um, it's stressing me out it's not just because it's a risky job but simply because in looking at the future I'm afraid I will be stuck here and this will be the end of my career the cons of having art as your career mainly revolve around not having a steady income every month Every month is different when you work with art. One month you can break even, one month you get minimum wage, one, another month is brilliant and you get a lot of money and you're able to pay taxes and everything, but then the next month, once again, you get minimum wage. It's a really unstable situation, especially for the very first year. Um, as we speak, I'm basically working on two jobs. I work on my quote-unquote real job, during the day and then when I come back I basically work as an artist and I draw for people who actually want me to draw and I love it it's the one thing that's driving me forward right now it's really what I, I'm living for other than that um, the real big uh, pro that you get from doing art as a career is that you are your own boss so you can decide when to work uh, what pays to work and uh, how much you get paid. Basically, I mean, you have no mediator. You decide everything about your life and your work career. On the other hand, that can be deteriorating for a person who has no basis, especially a person who's undecisive, who doesn't know what to do and how to work and at what pace to work. 
Um, in that case, maybe a, a second person can be of help. And who knows, these people can flourish under the help of a friend or a person from the family or somebody who can help、uh, establish a schedule, a routine to follow. Overall, in my personal experience, despite the instability that comes with having art as your full time job, I will still go for art any day of the week. At the moment, I am unable to completely switch to art because for me, art is still not enough to support me economically yet. I'm hoping that one day it will be, and I'll be able to finally quit my job and start doing art as a career. But for the time being, I will be making preparation until that moment comes, and I do hope it comes soon. For anyone who's confused, You guys in the comment section can help.、Uh, feel free to share your own experience if you have any, or your own thoughts about this subject. Would you rather work as an artist or, anyway, do a job that you really, really love, even for minimum wage, or do a job that you hate but get paid really well? Which one would you choose? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm really interested. And Your answer is gonna help me as well because I'm in the same situation. I'm confused just as much as any other young artist who's starting off doing art as their career. Anyway, looks like my speed painting is finished. I really hope you enjoy the result. I really loved working on this、uh, particular subject. Isa is such a grump. And she's so much fun to draw. I tried this more realistic approach. I really hope you guys enjoy it. You can find the finished picture on Patreon. And if you feel like it, you're very, very welcome to support me. I really appreciate it. And as you were able to see, it helps me a lot. And it contributes to turning art into an actual job for me. So feel free to follow the links in the description or in the video. To be redirected to my websites where I post comics and other art for everyone to enjoy. So it looks like we're done here. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and until next time, have a good time. Bye!